hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to add Ajax control HTML editor extender to a ASP.NET text box control and see here we have added the HTML editor extender to the text box control Maroon, make it bold. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project. File, new project. I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application, and the .NET framework is 4.6.1. And the project name is HTML Editor Extender click OK and I'm choosing empty template click OK and the project has been successfully created go to solution explorer and in this project I'm adding a new web form page right click the project name add new item I'm choosing web form. The form name is HTML extender. Add. And here we got our newly created page HTML extender with some default HTML5 code. Now between this do tag, I'm adding center tag center h1 how to add html editor extender to a asp.net controls horizontal line now below the horizontal line I am adding one ASP.NET text box control go to toolbox text box control but before adding a HTML editor extended to this control let's check the output how it looks on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code with the ASP.NET text box control. Now I want to make this text box control to HTML editor extender control. Let's switch back to my coding part. We'll add the script manager and stop debugging. If you want to add the Ajax controls on this web form, the first thing we need the script manager. Let's add the script manager above the center tag between the form tag I am adding go to toolbox I'm minimizing the standard toolkit and the Ajax extension the script manager click that one after that go to the design mode and notice here the small control here which is the text box task click that one and below the link is add extenders click that one and I want to add the HTML editor click that one and this is the idea of this extender click OK switch back to the source mode and notice here below the text box control we got the Ajax toolkit HTML editor extender and the target control ID is the text box one Let's check the results on the browser. Google Chrome. And here we got the output with an error. The sanitizer is not configured in the web.config file. To fix this error, so we need to add the property enable sanitization property to false. Let's switch back to the coding part. Stop debugging. And here I'm adding enable 
sanitization is equal to false that's it after adding the enable sanitization let's add the height and width for the text box control so we can check clearly the HTML editor extender height is equal to 300 width 500 now you check the final results on the browser Google Chrome and see here we have added the HTML editor extender to the text box control maroon make it bold that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos